Welcome back to another video here on Anth.Tech and in this one we are going to be taking a look at my favorite Final Cut Pro plugins. So like I said before, we are going to be taking a look at my favorite Final Cut Pro plugins and they are from Motion VFX. So some of you Final Cut Pro users may have already heard of them and some of you that don't currently use Final Cut but are looking into it. Motion VFX is going to be your best spot for looking at different templates, whether it's Apple Motion, Adobe After Effects, or of course, Apple Final Cut Pro. So the ones that I'm using are called MTuber, M Callouts, M Transition, and also M Vertical. And they all have their different uses and different things that they do. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer so we go and see how they work inside of Final Cut Pro. Okay, so here we are inside of Final Cut Pro, and the first one that we're going to be taking a look at is going to be MTuber. So by clicking on this T for the effects, here's MTuber right here, and then here's pretty much all the different ones you can pick from. So here we have buttons and tags. Down below, you have end slates. So in here, we can have the YouTube profile picture for an easy subscribe button. Here we have just different videos that you can import within the YouTube Creator Studio if you're a creator and you want to upload stuff. And then here we just have a whole bunch of different other stuff. Like here's some titles that you can add in that will automatically generate. So when you come in from the beginning, this circles around as you might see in some other videos and especially here on the channel. Here you have like a search bar. So if you're trying to do something cool like that, all that kind of stuff is all done through these different plugins and effects, especially through Motion VFX. So say we want to choose the subscribe three. So I'm going to go to my outro, which is right about here. And then all we have to do is drag on subscribe three. Now, as you can see right here, it says, subscribe to our channel. Now let's change our channel to anth.tech. So we'll say subscribe to anth.tech and boom, there it is. So here I can adjust the font and the font types. If I want to make it a like italic, I can make it light, I can make it really bold like this or extra bold and extra bold italic. Some different font faces to pick from. And then here's also line spacing, so the distance between the lines. And we can make this a little bit bigger and then here we can also change the text color, but white is pretty good since you don't want to make it red or black wouldn't look right with the YouTube logo. Now speaking of the YouTube logo, here we can affect the icon color. So if we want to make that green or any color, that's all doable within here. So I'm going to change this here back to a good white color like that. And I'll go ahead and close out the color window and boom, there we go. So playing this from the beginning, here's how it looks. And boom, there we go. Now we can also shorten this, but I'll leave it at the default size and then it'll, on its way out, do that to special effect. So there is going to be the MTuber Subscribe 3. So the next plugin that we're going to be checking out is called M Callout Simple 2. So again, this is made by Motion VFX and there's a ton of ones that you can pick from. So there's really nothing you can go wrong with out of these selections. So I'm going to go ahead and say number 23. So I'm going to drag this onto the clip, shorten it so that way it doesn't affect any other ones only the one I'm trying to apply the effect to. So I'm going to go ahead and select the center of it so that way I can choose what text I want to use. So it says I'm callouts. I'm going to change this to uh, Xbox 1S. So there we go. And then where it says Simple Volume 2, I'm going to change that to Microsoft. So if you're doing product reviews, this would be a great one to pick from. And then also the text size on the X and Xbox is getting cut off. So I'll go ahead and shrink that. That way it fits properly. And then that yellow line underneath Xbox I'll go ahead and move this to red. That way it fits the video a little bit better instead of the yellow. Then again, here we have another yellow piece, which is the tracking box. So I'll move that to a red color also. Now I'm going to move to the front of the video. So here we are. And then this little tracking box, I'm going to select this right on the uh, white eject button. So that way it tracks there. Then this little block here, I'll move this right here. And so that way we can see where the text is. I'm going to go back here. So that might be a little bit far out. Let's move this back to the white eject button. Maybe we'll go ahead and shrink this up just like that. Perfect. So now I'm going to go back to the front of the clip and move the track box to the white eject button. And then now we just say track and it'll do the rest. Okay, so here we have the tracking is complete. So I'm going to go ahead and play the video back. And boom, there we go. Xbox One S does that effect. Microsoft, and then when it goes out, Boom, it goes away. So that's how you do the tracking effects with M callouts and change the text in different colors. So the next plugin we're going to be checking out is called M Transition Zoom. So now, as you can see in the desktop tour video, if I go ahead and play from here, 
and I have a lot of different transitions. So just to add some more energy to the video, I have these which are pretty much just shaking back and forth. Now taking a look at say a different part of the video, to scroll past my intro and all this kind of stuff, say between the Mac and the Xbox. So we're gonna watch this. So that kind of transition, how it flips over. So if I go ahead and click on this here, this was called flip left. Now to choose from which one to pick from, by clicking on your transitions window over here, here we can move to M transition zoom. So I click on here, here we have a whole bunch of different ones to pick from. So here's custom ones like zoom in, zoom out. And by just hovering over them, it kind of gives you a preview with the orange tree background and then the blue mountain background of how it's gonna look. So here is detached vertical. There's just a ton to pick from. So say between this Xbox clip right here, the pan, and this one where I'm kind of swinging it around on the Ronin, let's go ahead and add this LL corner rotate. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this back so let's see how it looks. So you see how kind of cool that was, how it affected how the video transitioned, and then also how the clip goes from the left to the right side, and the same way how this moves, so it kind of fits a little bit better. So that's how that one works. Now if I go ahead and just say delete, which is backspace on Mac, we can go ahead and choose from a few different ones to pick from. So let's go ahead and say replace right, because that would better change how this looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this one, and boom, there's how that works. And you kind of get that cool buttery effect when you go play that back. So there's how it looks again. So there's a ton to pick from inside of the M transition zoom. You can literally be scrolling here for a while just trying to figure out which one that you want to use. Now a cool one to use is it's called zoom out, rotate, CCW, CW, or regular just zoom out. So if I go ahead and drag this one now on here, let's go and see how this one looks. And see that kind of adds that pretty cool zoom out effect and also a turn. So those are pretty much most of the good ones that I like to use in the M transition zoom plugin by Motion VFX. So now for the last plugin that we're going to be taking a look at is called M vertical again by Motion VFX. So here it is right here. But first I'm going to go to the end of the clip and I just airdrop myself a clip from the phone just now. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this on to the project and here we go. So here's that video I just uh, took right now. So as we can tell we have these ugly left and right black bars. So to get rid of that all we have to do is drag on M vertical put it on top, and boom, there we go. So by playing that back, now we just have it on the left and right side of the video. So now we don't have those ugly black bars. So as you can tell, that looks much better than having those bars. Okay, well that is going to wrap up my four favorite plugins for Final Cut Pro. They'll all be linked down below, and also Motion VFX's main site. All five links will be down below, where you're gonna check those all out. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up. And also I'm gonna plug here my amp.tech premium subscriber portal here. So if you go ahead and sign up, link down below, anth.tech slash register, if you go and type that in, that'll let you register into the site. So that'll let you access early videos that will eventually appear here on YouTube and also paid only content that will ever only be inside of that portal. So if you're a loyal anth.tech subscriber, uh, definitely consider about joining that as though you get early content and also paid only content that will only be in there. And that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. And as always, stay classy.